Hi there, this is Aaron Sachs, National Training Manager with Samsung TechWin America. Today I'm going to show you an overview of the SNP6201 Pan Tilt Zoom Camera. In the box we've got the camera, we've got a sheet protector to protect the camera if it's dusty or in humid locations we'll run the cables through there, we'll attach this self-adhesive to the camera base plate. We've got the quick guide for the camera warranty information, a hole mounting template for drilling, we've got the analog output cable and some screws to attach the camera, and then we've got the manual on CD and the smart viewer software. Now the camera itself has two pieces. You'll see there's a screw here that we can loosen and then we push the hook in and then the base comes off the camera there. Just need to pull up. The camera itself has a door that opens up. That's where we can get to the SD memory card slot and the factory default button. That button you push and hold for five seconds while the camera is powered up to reset the camera. On the bottom of the camera we have the connectors and the cooling fan. There's also the hook for the safety cable. I'll show you the cable in a moment. On the base of the camera, we have the, um, the line to tell me where to attach the camera. You'll see there's another line on the camera itself. We've got the tab to take the camera apart from the base, and then a mounting screw. We have the safety cable here, comes out, hooks into the camera. And then we have the two connectors for the camera for the data and power. You'll see that there's some detailed information about the dip switches for the different protocols if you're using RS-485. We can unhook this board here and it flips down so that while the camera is mounted we can get access to the cables through there and we can also get access to the back of the board. We've got the network jack which is PoE plus. We've got our alarm inputs and outputs RS-485 in power. We have audio out, audio input, and we also have our analog output cable connector right there. You'll see each one of these connectors come, comes out. The power connector has a screw down to secure it on there. And you'll see here are the dip switches for the unit number and protocol if you're connecting the RS-485. To install the camera, all we would do is we would mount this base plate to the ceiling. We've got the four screws. Attach those four screws, attach this into the ceiling, run our cables through, close the door, make our connection, make sure our cables are connected, and then attach the camera. So to attach the camera, we're going to look for the red line and find the other red line. We're going to align them, twist, and then tighten the screw. Nice and easy.